Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's time for a quick unboxing video here for Fresh Plastic Friday. I was originally just gonna show you guys what's in this sweet box from Jester Discs, but I realized I have a couple other fun things to show off real quick, so why not take a look at all the different things I've taken into the inventory recently. There's not a ton of stuff uh, beyond that box. I have the new run from NSH Custom Discs. This is the brand new release, the Ninjai. This is a fast, flippy, high-speed distance driver. Only thrown it a handful of times so far, but it seems like big distance potential. Out of the box roller as well. Kind of similar to the 1701. Not quite as flippy as that though. A little bit more manageable for sure. I really like the silver material on this thing. It's got the inner rim for a little bit of extra gyroscopic stability. So that's the Ninjai. Stay tuned if you want more information about that. And also, I popped into the Disc Golf Depot to grab that pair of Berg X's that I reviewed. If you're interested, I have a full review already out on that disc. But while I was in there, I had some trade-ins and just on a whim, kind of, I ended up buying one of these first-run cicadas from Discraft. He said that uh, they've been pretty popular. He sold a number of them already. There's only a couple left in stock. And it is a fairway driver. Seven, six, negative one, one are the flight numbers so far. I feel like it's a bit more stable, this particular one, a bit more stable than advertised. It is, says 173 to 174. It's scaled at heavier than that, scaled at like 176 or so. So it's a little beefy. This plastic is also really, really stiff and really firm, rigid plastic. Uh, kind of just feels like crystal plastic did back in the day. Not necessarily my favorite, so it's real, real firm out there on a cold day. But that is the Cicada. I'll probably throw together a, a kind of mini review of that as well coming up here soon. Beyond that, we're going to dig into this box, and also, I decided I'm going to do a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned for that as well. I'm going to give away something that's down in this box that I already scoped out for you guys. Uh, first of all, I want to show you real quick, I think this appeared on the channel proper, definitely on my Instagram. This is the Halloween edition Jester Peace Train that they sent me back in October, and I've been bagging it a little bit for sure. It's got a nice flat top. It's a little bit more of a straight to understable, a little bit more of an understable run uh, compared to some of the other ones, including one that's in this box right here. So shout out to Jester. They didn't pay me to like say nice things about it. They've just been sending me plastic to test, show off on the channel. They've been super casual about it and just uh, trusting in me to just show it off however I see fit, which is really nice, especially at this point with the channel, guys. Like I feel like I've paid enough dues to... <laughs> Get a box of plastic without any strings attached at this point. Uh, I could be wrong, but I feel like reviewing more discs than anybody else in the world should carry some weight. Uh, I guess that, you know, YouTube's weird. And there's some beautiful stuff in this box, too. So let's dig in. First, they threw in another one of these lovely Love Putters, Taffy Plastic Love. Full review on this disc, available on the channel. Uh, the best way to describe it briefly would be kind of like a pure... That's more stable, more torque resistant, you can hit it with more pop and uh, it won't ride to the right as much. And definitely a really solid flyer that I think a lot of players would dig. This, look at this thing, I gotta get this box out of the way so it doesn't keep messing up the focus, but look at the color on this thing. Crazy piece train, beautiful. I like the rainbow stamp in this particular instance because it's got a lot of different colors going on with the actual disc and like my camera really doesn't do justice. This thing, you can't really get a sense of it unless you're holding it in your hand. Just how cool. Here, take it there you can get a little bit more of a sense of the different colors at that angle. So sick. Kind of like cotton candy. Amazing. 173 piece train. The shimmer plastic. This is a really nice one that I'll definitely hold on to in my inventory. Oh, here I can show you what I was talking about. The uh, This run having a little bit more dome to it than this Halloween run. Right, I think you can see that. Got that. You know, it's mostly flat in the hand, which I like. And uh, the piece train in general, one thing I really like about it is it ends up being very, very similar and kind of a viable, as close as I found to a viable replacement for my beloved Gobi. So I've been enjoying throwing those. Next, we have all the newest disc from from Jester. I'm just gonna pull this stack out so I can get rid of the box. And we're going to take a look at this stack of Dreamweavers. This is their first driver, so they've accomplished their goal of getting a driver, a mid-range, and a putter released in their first year of operation. And I think they're solid. Dreamweaver, 7.5, uh, negative 1, and then it's, uh, I guess, a 1.5. It's in between 1 and 2. 
So it should be a really straight flying seven speed kind of fairway, classic, classic style. 172, this thing has some dome to it, really beautiful day glow, kind of metallic day glow on this thing. Sick, this thing looks really nice in the sunlight. And I really like the, uh, the stamp as well. I think that looks pretty sweet. So that is one Dreamweaver there. Then we have this purpley one right here with the same stamp, similar dome. Another Shimmer one. This one's also 172. So those will be my testing pair for those. And then this one right here I'm going to give away to you guys for a thanks giveaway. So all you got to do is just pop down into the description of this video. Make sure you're subscribed. Please like the video. Leave me a comment. And then just go in there and enter your email address. I'll reach out via email. And I'll ship you guys this thing sometime in December. 168. Beautiful red. Silver and red. Kind of uh, holiday themed. Shimmer Plastic Dreamweaver. Brand new on the market. This one's a bit flatter than the other two. And a little bit lighter. Should be a really nice flyer for whoever ends up with it. So thanks giveaway for that to kick off the holiday season here on the channel. So look out for how to enter that. And then the other ones are in the taffy plastic. And I also really like this simple, clean looking stamp. You know, there's there's information. There's the plastic, fairway driver, phase one, made in the USA, all that stuff. The flight numbers again. But it's just not like super busy. And I like the lettering. I like the... Rainbow stamped uh, butterflies on here. This is a little bit flatter run. And this one is 168. And this is the one that I'm going to be throwing, I think. I like this taffy plastic. Feels really nice. Maybe a little bit firm still for the winter time for me. I would like it to be just a bit gummier, but really high quality feel. This really cool uh, quadruple stamp is also 168. So that'll be my testing pair for the taffy Dreamweavers that I'll check out. And then... <laughs> Last but not least, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, this one's going straight in my collection. This is a 173 rainbow stamp, pure black, premium plastic, Dreamweaver. Gorgeous. I'm not even going to take this out of the plastic. I'm not going to lie. This is going to go straight into my collection because that's a really beautiful uh, disc. And I believe they didn't make too many of these black ones. So I'm honored to have it as part of my stash here in the Disc Golf Nerd layer. So that is an unboxing video for Fresh Plastic Friday. Kicking off the holiday season. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving in whichever way you choose to enjoy it. Um, take a look in the description again for a Google form to enter to win this thing. Please like and subscribe and all that good stuff if before you enter. I'd appreciate it very much. Help me continue to grow this channel. And keep an eye out for more content coming up very soon. I'm not done yet. Got a lot of stuff to, to test. A lot of different things to talk to you guys about. Thank you very much to the Disc Golf Nerd Patreon support team. Fans, viewers, subscribers, I love you all. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheers.